Let's go! Quick pass to Garrett Wilson. Touchdown! What a throw! Aaron Rodgers to Garrett Wilson! I love you all. Regal, it's gone! Ready to take flight with the Jets, baby, let's go! Whoa! <laughs> Breaking news! The Buffalo Bills have traded Stephon Diggs! <laughs> I don't know what this means, but the AFC East just got even more wide open! Oh my gosh! First of all, let me start off with this. Man, the Houston Texans are going to be a serious threat this year. But the Buffalo Bills, whoa, this came out of absolutely nowhere. I don't know if anybody saw this one coming. The Buffalo Bills trade away their superstar wide receiver, Stefan Diggs. Now, there was rumblings. I'm not going to say this came out of completely left field. There was a lot of people speculating about the Diggs and Bills relationship. Even last season, even two years ago, there's a lot of things off the field. But this just came out of a what? Right? And I saw something this morning where Stefan Diggs responded to a Bills fan on social media. On Bleach Report, I saw that. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I mean, it's not new. But, bro, this is huge for the AFC East. The Dolphins fans and Jets fans are feeling the same type of way right now. I mean, Patriots fans, sorry. You guys are not doing anything this year. You guys are in a rebuild mode. Congratulations. But, boy, I've been saying all offseason the path for the New York Jets to get to the postseason is in the division. This is the year the AFC East will be the New York Jets' time to win the whole thing. Now, listen, I'm not going to say this is guaranteed that the Jets are winning the division, but I was very consistent that if the Jets want to make the playoffs, their path is the division. Why do I say that? It's because the AFC conference is stacked and loaded. We don't want to rely on the wild card. We want to win the division. And you think about this Buffalo team, this Buffalo team, uh, Bills team right now, now you can definitely start having the Bills drafting a wide receiver in the first round, 110%. But they're, they're number one receivers who? Curtis Samuel? <laughs> what? Bro, I've been telling Dan Mitchell and Bills fans on the round table and in here this exact thing I'm about to say. I'm not being a hater. I'm just being completely objective of what I've noticed about the Bills. The Buffalo Bills have done absolutely nothing this offseason to spark any fear in me. The only thing they have on, you know, on the Jets and on anybody in the division is that they're four-time division champions and they find ways to win the whole thing, okay? They do. Credit to you. But when it comes to offseason moves and it comes to improving your roster, the Buffalo Bills just take a huge step backwards. Now, I gave them the credit. I'm like, they're still a good football team. Just because they didn't make significant improvements doesn't mean they're not a good football team still. I still think they're a good football team still to this day. But boy, oh boy, now they take an even huge leap backwards. And I know we're going to hear this from Bills fans. Watch. Yeah, well, when Joe Brady took over as the offensive coordinator in the middle of the year, Diggs wasn't even involved and we started still winning. Yeah. Hold on to that. Because Stefan Diggs, if it wasn't for this guy, who is Josh Allen? I mean, let's be honest with ourselves. Josh Allen was not a big-time quarterback in this league when Stefan Diggs was not there. You bring in Stefan Diggs, he becomes an elite quarterback, Josh Allen. So now the big question is, what's Josh Allen going to look like without Stefan Diggs? That's going to be interesting. It's me with a $5 Super Chat. Guess the Bills need to hit up Justin Jefferson so they can get another washed wide receiver. Vikings who will disappear in the last five games. 
Thank you for the $5. Oh, TD's calling me. TD, I'm live right now. Do you see the breaking news? Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing? You're seeing what you think you're seeing. We're live right now on Just Media reacting to it. <laughs> you mean it's our division, though. You know, the Jets, right? <laughs> this is, hey, this is a celebration for us both. Come on now. You know what the vibes is. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This came out of nowhere. The huddle is going to be special today. And the round table tonight. Oh, we got a day. We got a day planned for you, folks. Just wait. Just wait. <laughs> All right. Hit you later, TD. <laughs> oh, man. Bills fans and Jets fans and Dolphins fans. And nah, this is craziness. This is craziness, bro. I can't believe this. Oh, my God. You 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 heard TD? Oh my God! TD's pumped up. Dan Mitchell's in shambles, and this is the year, folks. This is the freaking year. You heard what TD said that the Dolphins. This is their time. Yeah. What do you think we're thinking about, baby? Boba Jet with the five dollars. Dan Mitchell out here saying this changes nothing for the outlook for the Bills. Of course, Charlie Murphy laugh and give. Let's F and go. Bro, I'm telling you right now, I'm going to predict exactly what Dan Mitchell and Bill's Mafia is going to say, bro. I know exactly what they're going to say. Yeah, well, uh, and I just said it recently. Stefan Diggs wasn't involved in the offense at the end of the year. And they were able to win without him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on to that. Thank you for the $5 super chat, Boba Jet. I do appreciate that. I see TD's phone number. Crank call's coming. See, I'm a good friend. I don't leak TD's phone number. TD leaked my phone number in the middle of the year last year. Call Dan, see what he says. I'm pretty sure Dan is live, Glenn. If I'm not mistaken, let me double check. Yeah, he's live. Ooh, he's got a lot of people tuning into his show. Dan's got 768 people live on his show right now. Let's go. <laughs> oh, boy, how are we feeling, Jets fans and Dolphins fans? Hit that like button on your way in, folks. We got some breaking NFL news. Stefan Diggs is no longer in the AFC East, and now we're going to have to see what this team looks like in the Buffalo Bills without Stefan Diggs because let's not get it twisted. Stefan Diggs had a big reason why Josh Allen became the quarterback that he is. Bills are cooked. Dan live stream cope session. Hey, I'm having Tom Brassi on the channel. Oh, my God. Should I give him a call? Should I give Dan a call even though he's live? What do you guys think? Should I interrupt his live to get his thoughts? Thank you for the super chat, Jets back. I can see Jets versus Texans in the AFC Championship game. Oh, we got people already projecting us in the AFC title game with the Houston Texans. Listen, this is a time to definitely, you know, think about the Bills, but boy, the Houston Texans just got crazy. The Texans just got, CJ Shroud just got a big time weapon, bro. V-Man, Bills, uh, fan, Bills fans emptying their booze stockpiles. You know it, V-Man. All right, seems like the chat wants me to call Dan. Okay, thank you, V-Man. Appreciate the super chat. Now, Dan is live, so I don't know if he's going to answer, okay? He's live. I don't know if he's going to answer, but we'll, we'll see. Hi, y'all. My friends kill my son. I'm not a Chiefs fan. Oh, he's answering. So I'm live right now, Dan, and I have my entire chat asking me to FaceTime you. I know you're live, respectively, with over 800 viewers, but I had to get your thoughts of what's going on. My, my Jets fan base wants to hear from you. Jets fans watching me right now, if you watch my content, I said that I could care less if Diggs was on this team or he wasn't this year. But what infuriates me is that we traded him for a fucking bag of Doritos and a half eaten Hershey's bar, bro. We have no we had no capital. Wait, what 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 even was the compensation? I don't even know. It was a twenty twenty five second rounder and a sixth round. <laughs> Congrats. Great. Great, Brandon Bean. What are you doing, dude? Are you out of your mind? Oh my this God! This right now is the only option for the Buffalo Bills. We better damn well make sure that we get Brian Thomas Jr. Or we better go for broke and sign T. Higgins to a mega contract because that dude fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh, well, that's just a little teaser, guys. We have the huddle today at 3 o'clock, and we have the AFC's roundtable tonight at 7.30. So tune in. We're going to hear from Dan Mitchell then. Dan, continue your live show. The Jets are your 2024 AFC East champions, baby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Poor Dan. Oh my music. god. Yes. <laughs> wow. I am completely, completely out of loss of words right now. How funny was that call? Bro is fuming, bro. He was fuming. Guys, today's show on the huddle and then tonight on the AFC's round table, bro, is going to be ludicrous. Okay. The huddle is going to be like more, you know, it's going to be heated. But then you know what happens on the AFC's round table. That's where the real fireworks get, go crazy. Thank you for the $2 super chat. Guys, if you're just tuning in, there's breaking, breaking news, okay? The Houston Texans have traded for Stefan Diggs, bro. Oh my goodness. Now, there has been something consistent that we have been checking here on the channel every single time that we're live. And I'm very curious to see if the odds already switched. I've been telling you guys that if you want to put money on the Jets to win the division, I told you guys to do it weeks ago. I'm really curious. Did they already change it? Because if they didn't, bro, I'm putting money on it right this second. Did they change it on BetUS? Let's find out together. Guys, if you want to check it out for yourself, click the link down below in the description. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They didn't change it. The only thing that changed is the bills are less likely. So you check out the odds here on BetUS Sportsbook, folks. The Buffalo Bills are now plus 165 to win the division. They were at plus 120 at one point. The Jets are at plus 220. You joking me? Plus 220? Guys, if you want to open up your BetUS account today, click the link down below in the description. Open up your BetUS account today and hammer that New York Jets winning the AFC East at plus 280. Okay? Definitely do that. I'm going to put the link in the chat right now for you guys so it's easier access. You get 125% bonus on your first three deposits up to $2,500 using the code JOIN125 and a 10% gambler's insurance. I have a feeling, I've been telling you guys this, I've been consistent with this, that these odds are going to keep falling. The Jets will all of a sudden be plus 180 at one point or plus 150. By the start of the season. Now is the time to place your bets on the Jets to win the division. I promise you that if you are into gambling, if you're into sports betting, and you are a Jets fan, and you have confidence that the Jets are going to win the division, now's the time to put that money on it. So shout out to BetUS. Please don't forget to bet responsibly, folks. And a big shout out to BetUS Sportsbook. BetUS, America's favorite sportsbook and casino. Live betting and racebook. We're celebrating 30 years with a historic offer. A 125% sign-up bonus on your first three deposits. Plus 10% gambler's insurance. Get started today. BetUS, where the game begins. Woo, Jets fans feeling good today, baby. Let's go. This is a wild jetpack. Dolphins down, Bills down, Jets up with a chip. I like the emoji game, bro. I love this emoji game, jetpacks. <laughs> J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets. Richie Fresh in the chat. My man Richie's in the chat. Uh-oh, what does he got to say? Richie, you know I love you. But he didn't do anything in the playoffs for us and crap after week six. I mean, let's be honest, right? Go Bills, baby. What did I say? Richie, I'm assuming you just came in. You did not see because I predicted this. <laughs> this is exactly what I predicted Bills fans to say. You, you're not wrong. So, listen. This is what Bills fans' mindset is. Let it be. But Richie... I respect you, I love you, and I appreciate the support, and I appreciate the super chat. I think that the Bills will be fine, man. You guys are still winning the division, right? Like, Josh Allen's a dog. Sean McDermott. You got Curtis Samuel now. Come on. All, all jokes aside, Richie Fresh, appreciate the super chat, my friend. But I did call it. This is what I knew they were going to say. Shakir will be in Strap City. Uh-oh, watch out. They got Khalil Shakir in the slot. 
Ooh. Thank you so much for the $2 super chat, Tony. Appreciate you. Good thing for Richie TD. We'll be on Dan all day. Bro, we got we got two shows today on schedule with Dan Mitchell. <laughs> bro, the huddle's going to be nuts at 3 o'clock. Guys, if you're not aware of what the huddle is, bro, you got to make sure you're tuning into the huddle today. I don't know if the show's scheduled yet, but bro, today's episode of the huddle is going to be ridiculous. It's going to be the first time you see Dan Mitchell, TD Finns Talk, and myself react to the news. I put the link to the stream in the chat. If you guys want to click that and put the notification bell on, that's crazy, bro. I don't care about the trade. It's the compensation. Yeah, so you guys got a 2025 second round pick and a sixth. Yikes. I feel like you could have got more for that, bro, in my opinion. You definitely could have got more with that. But the one thing that Bills fans can definitely agree on is that you guys are getting a wide receiver in the first round. And this is a loaded draft. So that's number one. If you're a Bills fan, that's exactly what's going through your mind. But, bro, the huddle is going to be nuts today. And the AFC's roundtable. Oh, my God. This is freaking crazy. All right, so a good friend of mine, Amanda, just texted me a tweet that I got to read to you guys. Bills wide receiver room right now. Khalil Shakir, Curtis Samuel, Mac Hollins, Justin Shorter, and KJ Hamler. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. Wow. That's a little sad. That is crazy. Shout out to Amanda for sending that over. Khalil Shakir and Curtis Samuel are your number one and number two options at Buffalo. Who? <laughs> what? Where? How? What the actual bleep? What the actual boop? Oh my gosh, bro. Craziness. Smell you later, Stefan. Have fun in Houston, baby. We'll see we'll see Stefan this year. We're, we're, we're facing the Texans this season. Here for the memes with the $5 Super Chat. Odunze or Thomas Jr. is a must now at 10. I don't care what anyone says. Get better on offense and block the Bills from getting better. It's a must. Um, I don't think the Bills are going to come close to Odunze, number one. They do have a chance for Brian Thomas if they want to be aggressive and trade up. Um, but, hey, the Jets met with Roma Odunze yesterday. Uh, they're actually meeting with him today, but the, rumor, the, the report came out a few days ago, right? Um, and Brian Thomas Jr. is a guy that I would not want the Bills to draft. I really like him. Uh, and I love the Jets to draft Brian Thomas. I don't know about at 10, maybe in a trade-down scenario, but boy, oh boy, does this open things up. Does, he, does this open things up for the Bills in the draft? 110%. Here for the memes, thank you so much for the $5 Super Chat, my friend. Appreciate you big time. Richie Fresh with another $5. Real talk, do Jets and Finns fans think this makes a difference? Be honest, because you know Diggs was absent after week six, and we still won division, Right. Yeah, of course. So the Bills are coming off a season where when Diggs wasn't really heavily involved, they still were able to go on a stretch and win some football games, right? This isn't a guarantee that you guys are taking a giant step in the wrong direction, but let's be honest with ourselves here. Stefan Diggs, you, you, there's no replacing him. Stefan Diggs is an all-pro, pro, multi-time all-pro, multi-time pro bowler. Like, this is going to make a difference for Josh Allen. Because let, let, let's let, let's address this real quick. If you want to talk about this, this is this is what we got to think about, Richie. Stefan Diggs didn't have an impact, but Stefan Diggs was on the field, meaning his presence was there, meaning that defenses had the game plan against Stefan Diggs, which opened up opportunities for Shakir, which opened up opportunities for Kincaid and Gabe Davis at the time. So my point is, Stefan Diggs' presence on the field changes things. For the defense that you're going up against, for the overall offense. So you take him now, he's off the field. Now defenses don't have to worry about digs. Now they can focus on shutting down Curtis Samuel and Shakir. So, yeah. I still, this is going to make an impact. 100%. Is it guaranteed that you guys are not winning the division this year? No, I'm not going to say that. I still think the Buffalo Bills are, you know, they're four-time division champions for a reason in a row. But this is something that we got to talk about right now. I think this is going to have a bigger impact than people might think. 
Walter Blackman with a $5 super chat with no text. Walter, if you have anything to say, feel free to let me know in the chat. If you're just sending in a generous super chat. Thank you so much, Walter. I appreciate the $5, my friend. I appreciate that. Whoa, we got a big, big rush is back. Oh, Bowie. Big rush. 2112 with a $100 super chat. Everybody get my man. Don't know hype in the chat. You do not have to do this, my friend. The Bills got fleeced. Did I read this right now? Only today get back a second round pick next year, but they also give picks this year. Yeah, so they gave up a second round, uh, second round pick next year. And a sixth round pick. I believe that's what Dan said. I don't have the compensation. If anybody in the chat can let us know the full trade details, we'll have more clarity behind it. But Big Rush, you're way too kind, my friend. $100, thank you so much. I wish I can give some of this back and just say how much I appreciate this, man. This means a lot. This means a lot to the channel. Everybody give Big Rush some dono hype in the chat. Richie Fresh says, Samuel had trash quarterbacks and Shakir turned it on. There we go, Richie Fresh. That, 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 that's, what, that's what Bills fans do. That's what Bills fans should be doing in this moment. Richie, it's pronounced 2112 like the Rush album. Ah, 2112. Now, now I got it. Big Rush 2112. I'm a huge Rush fan, probably before your time. Well, Big Rush 2112, thanks for educating me. Because the fact that I was saying your name wrong after you sending in these generous super chats, now I feel ashamed of myself. <laughs> Well, Big Rush 2112, thank you again for all the kind donations, my friend. Let's freaking go. Big Rush! Yeah, baby! Bills fans, where you at? I don't see Bills fans. I just see Richie Fresh. That's all, that's all I see right now. I want more Bills fans. Where's Andy? I know Andy's here. Where's Andy at? I don't know. Where are my Bills fans at? Where's my Bills Mafia at? I want to get your guys' thoughts. Where's Stanton at? I know Stanton's here. So Samuel had a top quarterback throwing to him. Um, No, he did not. But I'll tell you this. Samuel and Stephon Diggs don't even come close in talent. And that's the fact. Oh, my gosh. This is craziness. Yeah, the, all the all Bills fans are on Dan's stream, which makes sense. Richie Fresh or Richie Sad? Oh, poor Richie Fresh. Poor Richie Fresh, man. It's okay. The copium is it tastes delicious, I'm sure. All right, here's the deal. Uh, the trade is 2024 sixth, a 25 fifth, and digs for a what? The Bills had to give up a sixth and a fifth? What? A sixth this year? <laughs> you know why, though, right? It's the contract. That's why. The reason why the Bills are not able to get a big deal is because of the contract that D Diggs has. That was not in the Bills' favor. So they had to attach draft picks in order to get this deal done. Bro, what a freaking move for Houston. Oh, my gosh. They just fleeced them. The Houston Texans just fleeced the Bills. Wow. This is the deal. The Bills have to give up a 24-6th and a 25-5th. And digs. For a second. Next year. Not even this year. Next year. Damn, bro. Damn. Kansas City won with mid-wide receivers, did they not? Oh, boy, Richie Fresh. Don't you go there. Why did Kansas City win with mid-tier wide receivers? Somebody in the chat want to enlighten me. Who, who, does, who do the, the, the Chiefs have that the Bills don't? And they're not even, by the way, in the same breath. Patrick Mahomes doesn't compare to Josh Allen, okay? Who was Josh Allen the first two years of his career? Nobody. There were people questioning if the guy was even a good quarterback, Josh Allen. He showed flashes, but he was not a top-tier quarterback. The Bills trade for Stephon Diggs smartly 
to give Josh Allen a number one option, and then Josh Allen became an elite-level quarterback because he got a number one option. What did Patrick Mahomes do? Oh, Tyreek Kill goes to the Miami Dolphins. Everyone's like, oh, the Chiefs are going to suck. The Chiefs are not going to be the same without Tyreek Kill. What do the Chiefs do? They go out and win a Super Bowl. So this is the time for Josh Allen to really prove that he is on Mahomes' level because Mahomes was able to do it without his top-tier receiver. I know he still had Travis Kelsey, and the Bills have a Kincaid. But, bro, don't even go there. Kansas City won with mid-wide receivers because Patrick Mahomes is the greatest quarterback in the league right now. Bro, Richie, the Bills fans, stop crying. <laughs> hey, this is their time. If they got to cry, let it out. Bills Mafia is a safe place. It's a safe place. Appreciate the super chat. Richie's not stopping, man. He's relentless. Wait, the excuses from Jets and Finns fans when we win the division. He's doubling down. Richie Fresh is sick of hearing it. He's sick of hearing the hate. He comes back. Stop edging Mahomes. If Allen a Chief, he wins too. Oh, my God. My man, Richie Fresh just said that with a straight face. No, he didn't, Richie. My man. The guy just said if Josh Shaw was on the Chiefs, he'd be doing the same thing Mahomes is doing. What? That's so... <laughs> That's crazy, bro. You don't even know. You don't believe that, do you? Do you actually believe that? Do Bills fans actually believe this? Holy shit. Roberto with the $2. Texans will be a scary team this season. Yeah, we're definitely... We're definitely talking a lot about the Bills' downfall, but we also have to pivot a little bit to the Houston Texans, Roberto. You're 100% right. The Texans just got crazy. What an offseason for them. Joe Mixon. They got Nico Collins, Tank Dell, Stephon Diggs, Dalton Schultz, quality offensive line, a young, promising quarterback. The Texans are scary this year, bro. What a freaking offseason for them. What an offseason for them. Thanks for the uh, super chat. I love Joshy Poo, but that's delusional. Yeah, bro. You cannot... I'm sorry. If you're a Bills fan and you're pulling... A Josh Allen on the same level as Mahomes. I just, I can't let that. I can't let that slide. You acting like Allen ain't crap. Don't turn into TD. That's not true. I'm not saying that. Josh Allen is a top five quarterback in this league. I genuinely believe that. I do. But bruh, Richie, we're talking about, he's not number one. Number one is Mahomes. <laughs> like that's, that's not up for debate. Josh Allen's the top five quarterback in this league. He's an elite level dual threat. Playmaker. But I will finish with this when it comes to Josh Allen. This will be the biggest test for him. Can he still be top five without Stefan Diggs? That's the real question. People were questioning Mahomes. Is Mahomes still going to be as good without Tyreek Hill? He answered the bell. He's like, yeah, I am. I'm going to go win a Super Bowl without Tyreek. What's Josh Allen going to do? This is his time. If you're a Bills fan and you hate the Josh Allen hate around the league, from TD and maybe me and some other fans, this is the year where Josh Allen needs to double down and get even better without him. Maybe the Bills want Hardman. Take him. He'll uh, steal your... Uh, steal all your plays. He'll uh, leak your information. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here for the memes with another $5 Super Jet. The Cope is real. Just because Allen is my fantasy quarterback number one doesn't make him real life QB1. Happy hump day, Richie. Jet up. Happy hump day. This is going to be a glorious day in the content creation world, bro. We got this show with you guys. as a solo show here on Jets Media. And then we got the huddle at 3 o'clock with Dan and TD. And then we have the AFC East roundtable tonight. Bruh. This is going to be a day. Buckle up, folks. You're going to see a lot of me <laughs> talking about this today, if you're ready for it, at least. Thank you for the super chat here for the memes. Really do appreciate you, bro. Pat Mahomes beat the Madden curse. He did. That Madden curse stuck with Josh Allen, didn't it? He wasn't Josh Allen the cover last year. What did Josh Allen do this past year? Make it to the win the division, win a playoff game, and then what? Richie's back. Allen put team on his shoulder at 6-6, six and six, right? Yeah, but how did they get to 6-6 six and six in the first place? Josh Allen was not playing good football. Zang. Are we going to ignore the fact that they were 6-6 six and six in the first place? 
But yes, you're right. He does deserve credit. He did will this Buffalo Bills team back from 500 and go in that division at 11 and 6, which is very, very impressive. But bro, you better not do that again this year. You better not get off to a slow start again. Let's sell with a $5 super chat. If Pat Mahomes was on the Bills, your curse would be broken already. Yeah, bro. If Patty Mahomes is on the Bills, for sure. Are people actually still debating between Mahomes and Josh Allen, or is that just Bills fans, right? That's just Bills fans? It's just Bills fans. Boy. Guys, we got over 400 people live watching here on the channel. If you guys did not already, please do your boy a solid favor by simply hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. We want to get to 23K by the NFL draft. I don't know if it's possible, but if you guys want to help me reach that goal, simply hit the subscribe button. If you're new to Jets Media, my name is Richie, and I cover everything related to the New York Jets and everything across the NFL more centralized in the AFC East division. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and so, and also hit that like button. Let's get to over 200 likes, baby. 200 likes. Stay hydrated. Oh, babe. This is a fun show. I was thinking to myself, I, gotta, I didn't go live yesterday. I had other stuff going on in terms of Knicks coverage and other things in my personal life. So I'm like, okay, I got to uh, do a show today. Boy. Boy. We here. Jets fans, how are we feeling right now? This is craziness, bro. This is absolutely craziness. Now, I do want to take some of your callers. I do want to get, I'm going to open this up for a call-in show because I am really curious to get Jets fans thoughts and maybe any Bills fans want to come on and uh, share your thoughts of this as well. So definitely, definitely uh, stay tuned, guys. We're going to open this up for a call-in show. Okay? Don't be shy. I hate people that are shy. Come on. I'm a nice guy. Come on to the show. I'm going to put the link in the chat. You guys should pull up. Before that, we're going to hear a quick word from another proud sponsor of the channel. You guys know them extremely well. I love this product. I'm so happy. We just got extended with them okay and i'm really excited to keep this partnership before we get into that sponsorship we got some super chats to get through and then we'll get into some callers afc east yes sir appreciate the two dollars jeremy with a ten dollars super chat ten dollars wow happy belated birthday richie this is huge does this mean that the jets are likely to win the division now yeah jeremy you know it baby you know it's likely way more likely now that's for damn sure Yes, sir. I already had confidence of the Jets winning the division before this happened. Now look what just happened, bro. Let's go, Jeremy. Thank you for the uh, birthday wishes, my friend. Everybody, thank you for the birthday wishes. I had a very good birthday because of you guys. I, I felt all the love from Jets fans and overall all the supporters, Jets, or non Jets and non-Jets fans. If Dolphins don't collapse, Bills miss playoffs. Could the Bills miss the playoffs? We shall see. All right, folks, let's take a quick, let's hear a quick word from the proud sponsor of the channel, Matt to Sleep. Don't forget, use that code. You will not want to miss your chance to get 10% off of this elite product. As you all know, we've had a proud sponsor of Jets Media for quite some time now, and they happen to be Manta Sleep. Now, if you guys want to use my promo code JETS, you will get a 10% discount code. That link is down below in the description. Now, you might be wondering, what is Manta Sleep? If you guys have any struggles with sleeping, I cannot highly recommend more the Manta Sleep Pro Mask. Now, I've been using this since they became sponsors on the channel a months ago, months ago, and I literally wear this exact sleep mask every single night before sleep. Again, guys, this is what you got to invest in if you're having any difficulty with sleep. It is the most advanced sleep mask on the market, and I promise you, you will not regret getting your sleep mask it absolutely takes out the light 100 percent blackout zero eye pressure technology so when you put it on you can open your eyes but really my favorite part about it is it completely turns out the 
light. So even if you want to put it on for a midday nap or even you don't even want to take a rest, you just want to put the sleep mask on, even meditate. It's a really mindful practice, and I cannot recommend them more to you guys. They have a lot of different masks on their website. This happens to be the Pro Mask, which I personally recommend. It's what I use. But don't forget, use that link down below in the description, 10% off discount code. They have a Bluetooth mask if you want to listen to music. They got a silk mask. They got ones for kids. They got a weighted mask. They got a cool mask. Definitely check out their website. Cannot recommend them, recommend them more. Thank you, Mantis Sleep, for being a proud sponsor of Jets Media. Shout out to Manta Sleep. Folks, I'm not even joking when I say this. I wear that sleep mask every night, and <laughs> I love it. So please, if you guys want to support the channel and support the brands here on Jets Media, consider purchasing a sleep mask. Now, my boy Jack just FaceTimed me, and i definitely get curious to get his thoughts. So we're going to FaceTime Jack back. And then if you guys don't know who Jack is, he's a co-host of the podcast here on Jets Media. It was his birthday just yesterday. And then we're also opening up to some callers. So the caller link is at the top of the chat. Let's call Jack back. And I'm telling him that we're live to see what he has to say. Yo, we're live on Jets Media, bro. We're live because Stefan Diggs. Dude, I can't wait for the 30 for 30 on this epic Josh Allen Bills Super Bowl run that they had over the last <laughs> five years. Man, oh man. The Bills fans are in shambles today, bro. Holy shit. The 30 for 30 of their Super Bowl window. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just uh, wanted to call you about that. I didn't know you were live. Shout out to uh, everybody in the chat. What up, everybody? Um, yeah, dude. <laughs> Are Michael says, Jack, we miss you. I miss you guys too, man. I'm definitely going to hop on one of these days. JD Jet says, is Jack going to be around for the draft? So let me do oh, the yeah, qu baby. quick announcement real quick. I already did announcement. I already announced this once, but I'll announce it again since we have a lot of people tuning in. NFL draft plans for Jets Media. We're doing things differently this year. Your boy was lucky enough to get invited to a Jets exclusive event at MetLife Stadium. And me and your boy Jack will be in attendance. Oh, yeah. And it's going to be us and Jets alumni, and we're going to be live from MetLife Stadium, okay, at the at the uh, for the NFL draft. That's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be me and Jack and some former Jets players. Don't know who it's going to be yet, but stay tuned for more details, guys. That's the um, NFL draft plans. We're doing things differently. We're going to be on the road at MetLife Stadium. That reminds me, I got to get a hotel for us. But I'll, uh, I'll, I'm excited, bro. Uh, let, me just, let me close with this. Something like this makes me almost as happy as like all of the moves we've made this offseason. <laughs> like this, this is just like I'm like doing a little dance in the car today. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> so Bills fans, you know, sucks to suck. Jets fans, let's go win the division, baby. JTS, Jets, 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 love you all. Let's go. Peace out, Jack. Talk to you later. <laughs> oh man, that's the vibe right now amongst the Jets fan and the Dolphins fan base, I guess. This is craziness. Got to take my real estate exam. See you on the huddle. Love. Appreciate the $2, Richie. Joe, I wonder why now Buff getting uh, Boyd another free agent. Yeah, I think the Bills can be on Boyd and draft the receiver now. Those are the two options. But we got Richie Fresh actually calling in. I see you back there, Richie. You're coming on right now. Oh, we got Richie Fresh tuning in right now. Hold on, Richie. Let me make sure I got you coming through my speaker. All right. Welcome to the show. Yo, do I got to turn you down so I don't get back feet or what? Uh, no, you're all good, bro. Oh, listen, listen, understand something. Diggs didn't do anything after week six, right? Or mm -hmm. week five or week, whatever the hell week it was, right? I'm not making an excuse. I'm legit asking. He didn't do anything, right? No, he didn't. Joe Brady took he over, right? He didn't do well. Yeah, he didn't do anything in the playoffs except I'm not even going to talk about the drop ball, the deep ball. He didn't do anything in the playoffs. I'm not. Curtis Samuel had, I don't know, Richie, you probably know more than I do. Um, was it 600 yards with, he had a pretty good couple seasons with garbage quarterbacks, right? Yeah, I mean, I mean Curtis just, Samuel is, is solid. I actually wanted the Jets to target him, not going to lie. Yeah. I so, I mean, no, no, I got nothing but love for you guys. You know that. I'm just trolling some of the time, but I, I don't think the Bills are that screwed as people think they are. I mean, I still think the biggest threat to us in the AFC East this year is the Jets. I'll, I'll give you guys your flowers for that, to be honest with you. But 
I don't think I think people are overblowing this. It's great. It's great news for media and everybody involved. But I, I did nothing after week six. Even in last year's playoffs, man, he didn't really do much, dude. I mean, we could argue Gabe Davis was a bigger loss because of the four TDs he had in KC, but I'm not going to go down that road. So do you think it, um, like his presence is going to be different? Because I would say like that those those games at the end of the year, the playoffs and stuff, like the fact that Diggs is on the field would like, you know, t- teams would focus in and shut down Diggs, which would open up Davis, open up Shakir, open yeah. up Kincaid. And now the loss of that presence, do you think that's going to, have any t- sort of impact, even though Diggs wasn't the one making the plays, his presence alone was not only making the defense zero in on him, but also had a security blanket for Josh Allen that he can always rely to his guy. So this is why I called in because, dude, I'd be super chatting you like five hundred dollars if I exactly. So yeah, you don't so, have to keep doing that. I'll, I'll read yeah. it without the super chats. So, <laughs> I appreciate so it. what? I, so what I'm saying is like, yeah, I think that makes a hell of an impact, but I also think I, I don't want to say a cancer in the locker room, but let's be honest. There, we're, we now see why maybe the Vikings got rid of him. I mean, yeah, this was two they, years. But, I mean, this hasn't been. Yeah, I mean, it started what uh, two years ago by that yeah. like, sideline scuffle. I think. I think it makes. No, I agree with you on the impact on the field. They're gonna. They, they doubled him. Shit like that. Sorry, I didn't mean to swear, but um, they did. They doubled him. I think it makes a huge impact on that. But we can't act like. Oh, okay. You're going to hate me because I made a Mahomes comparison, but I was h- half trolling. I mean, I think <laughs> Allen, Allen is a great quarterback, man, and I'm not even being delusional. I would say, no, you, say you say top five, I'll argue ugh, I'll argue three, and the reason why I don't put Burrow in there is because of his injury history, but I think he's great too. I mean, I'm not yeah, going mean, to I mean, tr- troll him like Dan does. but <laughs> No, I, I, don't, I don't think you saying Josh Allen as a top three quarterback is wrong. I think right. that's a very – like, you ask all NFL fans around the league that's not Bills fans, I'm sure a, a majority of them would say, yeah, Josh Allen's a top three quarterback. So that's not, like, a crazy take yeah. at all. So, yeah, man. No, I appreciate you taking my call. First time first time talking to you guys. I can't wait till you guys come to Buffalo, man. Tailgating is going to be wild. I don't – have you guys ever been here or no? Is this going to be the first year? Uh, Me personally or the round or roundtable sports? Well, I, well, I can't wait to troll TD when he gets here. But you well, know, um, no, yeah, I, I went to college up in Brockport um, oh, okay. near Rochester, so I went to All four right. straight Bills Jets games in Buffalo. Um, oh, so I'm familiar with the area. We have not been to there as a company, but we gotcha. are planning on a Bills uh, event. We don't know which game yet. Obviously, those those details will come out in May. So hopefully, we'll see you there, Richie. I appreciate the donations. I appreciate your call, and I'll uh, see you later today. All right, no doubt. Talk to you later, Richie. Peace out, man. Richie Fresh. What a name. I feel like I hate my name now. Richie Malora. That's so boring. Richie Fresh sounds so much cooler. But he is a Bills fan. Now, all jokes aside, much respect to Richie Fresh, man. This is what we love. I love having a Bills fan come on here and tell me how you're feeling. I wonder why now Buffalo get... Oh, you already read that. Thank you, Joe, for the super chat. All right, guys. We got a call-in show open. If you want to come on in, give your uh, share your your thoughts of what we just saw, the Bills have traded away Stefan Diggs. Mr. LaSalle hey, hey, hey. is Hello. live. Yes, I am live. I am live. Back home, back home from my... Florida? Yeah, from Florida, from Florida, basically. Did you hang out with TD? No, I did not. No, I did not. Unless you went to Universal. I just didn't see him. Nah, <laughs> I went to Universal. I didn't went to Disney. Um, but um, what I want to say, say is that so glad we don't have to deal with Stefan Diggs anymore. Anymore, anymore. I'm so happy about so happy about that and the trade as well. Yo, the Texans fleeced them, fleeced them like hell. And because of this, I'm gonna say this: I'm gonna be the part of Tex- if the Texans and the Chiefs face off face off against each other in the AFC East. What? Uh, Let's sell. Don't forget A-A-T-S. about the J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Hey, Jets. hey they, they, have have field, they have to show it to me on the field, though. You have to show it to me on the field. The guy. I know. Like the Chiefs showed showing in multiple years old, multiple years now, and the Houston Texans again they gotta show it, but what they have with what they did last year, bro, bro, CJ Stroud versus versus Patrick Mahomes, that's gonna be wild. That's gonna be a wild game, wild game. And another thing, happy birthday to you, my guy. Thank but you. Uh, but I wanna ask you this. The, since your birthday is on April Fools, the, does anyone do like an April Fools like joke like present to to you like every other year? 
every other year because that feel I, if some if someone in my family had that birthday, I feel like it'd be too hard to pass up like at least one time doing like a doing like a birthday like prank on them yeah. because it is April Fool's Day. It is. I mean, April that's a Fool's. great question, LaSalle. Yeah. Thank you so much for the call and thank you for the birthday wishes. I appreciate that. And yeah, having a birthday on April Fool's Day has definitely been a um, interesting tale of my life. I remember being in school. Like as a kid in the middle school on my birthday, and I can I always thought to myself I can get away with anything. I could prank the teachers. I'm not gonna get in trouble because if I do get in trouble, I'll be like yeah, but it's my birthday, and I'll get away with it. So that was in my favor. Uh, the 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 typical joke is oh here joke to your parents you were born on April Fool's Day ha <laughs> ha yeah, yeah yeah funny heard that a million times. But yeah, I've definitely gotten some pranks thrown up my way on my birthday throughout the years. Um, but it's interesting. Didn't get any pranks on me on Monday though. I will say. I will say, thank you for this uh, for the birthday wishes, my friend. Patrick Mahomey with a five dollars. Bills fans coping, talent talking about Curtis Samuel's better. To be honest, can we just take ten seconds just to spam laugh emojis in the chat at the Bills? <laughs> oh man, we've been doing that the whole show, Patrick Mahomey. I don't know where you've been, but we've been doing it all show. Thank you for the five dollars, guys. If you want to spam a laughing emoji towards the Buffalo Bills, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to do it. Patrick Mahomey saying to do it, we do it. Thank you, Patrick. Appreciate the $5 super chat, my friend. Definitely appreciate it. All right, let's get into the next caller. My guy, Naft. Yes. My boy. Bro. How you been? It's done. It's done, bro. The bills are done. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go. I am, I'm so happy I got that message. <laughs> that <I'm> thinking, <laughs> bro, this is our year, bro. But it's only the, on, the only, the only, person the only thing that can mess up this season is ourselves that's the only thing that might happen if we can win and we do things right we're taking it all <laughs> we're taking the division nothing else there's nothing else it is so nothing true. Else. and i don't want dolphins fans saying that tyreek is you know enough enough <laughs> they lost the wild card enough it's not not even worth it, it but when you bro. broke when you looked at the bills, when you when you heard the bills, all you thought about was Diggs. That's all you thought for the past four or five, whatever. I forgot how many years he's there. That's all you thought about was Diggs, 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 and then no more. <laughs> bro, this is this is a miracle, bro. It is, and you bring up a lot of good points, man. The yeah. only thing that's in the way is ourselves, and how are we going to exactly. be able to, to deal with that? How are we going to be able bro, to deal with that? I don't know, but if Aaron Rodgers goes down on at least we have a backup quarterback. That's all I am. I gotta Absolutely. say that we got a normal quarterback. Well, but, Naft, I appreciate you calling in, man. It's been a minute. Hope you're doing well. And this is a good time to celebrate well, because now the division just got a little bit more open for the Jets to take advantage. Let's go, bro. Let's, let's go. Do it. All right. I'll talk let's to you later, Naft. I appreciate you as always, my friend. You too. Happy birthday, bro. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Let's go, Jets. My man Naft. Love that guy. What a beast. Speaking of Jets media legends, I mean, look at this legend. Hey. Oh. <laughs> What's up, man? The man is live. Yeah, this man, working my buns off. Dude, You're I miss your right face, now? bro. <laughs> yeah, working. I told the guys I need like 10 minutes to go talk to my homie. Oh, I got man. some I got some stuff for you, bro. So, um, yeah, just dirt working. See? There um, we go. Um, I love it. So, uh I got to rain on you guys' parade, man. Diggs is not the only one I thought about. And as a Chiefs fan, I've been watching everybody on all y'all's teams. And uh, with with Allen there, it's always going to be tough. The kid is good, you know. Um, he's just going to change Diggs out for somebody that's not bitching in the locker room. I think that uh, it's not going to be that big of a detriment. There's a couple other guys I would worry about more. But uh, here, I'm wobbly. There, <laughs> hands free. Ah, there we go. So, but yeah, um, like you said, though, the only thing standing in your way is you guys. Um, the uh, the Jets are stacked. You guys have been looking great. I'm really proud of it. I can't wait for it. I'm pro that. <laughs> I'm for that. All I want, and you know what it is. Come on, say it, Richie. What do I want? Chiefs, Jets, AFC Championship at yeah. Life Stadium. Oh, well, <laughs> we can negotiate that later. <laughs> but for real, man, I miss your face. I can't wait till Jets Media this uh, this coming season. I can't wait to see how good you guys are. 
but I wouldn't count the Bills out yet. Still a damn good organization, and it's still Josh Allen. That guy deserves all the respect, man. He, yeah, he, if he can right. do it, yeah, if he could do it with rookies, I'm scared, you know? I mean, because Diggs dropped more passes than anybody else on that team. I mean, the important ones. I should say the important ones. He cost him against the Chiefs, and he's cost him against quite a few people last year. So it might be better, and I'm kind of wondering if Stroud's going to just ball out with a kid like Diggs if Diggs will catch the damn ball. <laughs> no, you bring up a lot of good points, Jamie. I appreciate all the support as always, and I feel like you know this move doesn't just put the nail in the coffin of the Bills, but um, this is, for me, the time for Josh Allen to prove himself even more. Like you, like, like sure. I said earlier, Patrick Mahomes is a perfect example. You guys get rid of Tyree Kill. Everyone's like, oh, the Bills, uh, the Chiefs, excuse me, are going to take a step back. Tyreek Kill's no longer there. Yeah. And then what happens? Yeah, I mean, that's, Mahomes goes that's out insane, there and wins dude. another championship. So this is really for Josh. <laughs> this is Josh Allen's time to say, I don't yeah. need Stephon Diggs. I'm yep. good He's, to elevate the guys around me. I'm good with Samuel. I'm skippy. good with these guys. And this is his yeah. time to really provide uh, proof that he is one of the top dogs in this league. I mean, if he can show, he's already shown Jim Kelly's style of toughness. And I got to tell you, Jim Kelly is one of those guys from when I was a kid that showed people how to be a freaking man. You know, that guy took a beating every single play. And so has Josh. He's been beat up pretty good. But I think Josh can do it. I really think he's got he's got that thing that the guys need. I'm not ever going to compare him to Mahomes. I can't. I, I've never seen anything like Mahomes, and I'm just still in amazement. Still in Nobody amazement, Nobody is bro. doing that but Bills fans. I promise you that. Yeah, I mean, right? But but I got to give respect to the Bills fans, the guys that are watching and stuff, because that's one hell of a team. You can't even count them out. Even when you think oh, there's no way they're going to make playoffs. The last five games in a row, they'll just win and get playoffs. They're just good. But I don't know, man. I think the Jets are going to be something else this year. I'm pretty damn excited. I've been watching all your moves. I've been watching all your videos. It's coming, Richie. It's coming. And one other thing. Richie Fresh is a cool name, but Melora is an old, strong name, bro. So be proud of that. That's a cool last name. And I met your dad. I met your dad, and he would whoop somebody's ass if they said bad about his name. It looked like he looked and he does have a Christopher Walken sort of style to him too he's cool as shit dude <laughs> yeah dude everyone says he's christopher walken that's freaking oh he's so cool dude you're lucky man you got a sweet little mama and you got a, you got a cool pops you're a lucky man so be proud of your name bro i appreciate it, that well we'll see you again on jets media day this year where you can meet yes, them you again, will, bro. and i'll see you there jamie can i hey, thank keep, you enough keep for up the support. great work keep up the you, great man. work i love you my friend peace out Enjoy bye guys work i mean how could you not love king jamie the mad right there bro that's one of the most loyal Jets media fans since I started this thing. Not even a Jets fan. Well, no, I take that back. He is a Jets fan. He is a Jets fan. But he's Chiefs number one, Jets number two. Appreciate you, Jamie. As always, love you, love you, man. Love that guy. All right. Appreciate all the callers, guys. Don't forget to hit the like button if you're just tuning in for the first time. We got breaking news. The Stefan Diggs trade is live. He is a Houston Texan. Devin's in the chat. In the live chat, what's up, Devin? Hey, what's going on, Richie? How you doing, man? I'm doing well, bro. How about yourself? Not too bad. We've got a few questions for you. So, the Bills, uh, they took a huge step back this offseason. Are they the next Patriots? You know, just going to be in the dumpster? What's going on? Are they still going to be good? What do you think? And yeah, another you know, question for you. Uh-huh. Go on. Double-ended one. What if Rodgers gets hurt again? Then what? Another Zach Wilson, you know, bringing a guy like Tim Boyle. Yeah, so great questions, Devin. Thank you uh, for that double-ended question. Appreciate the the call, my friend. So the first question was, are the Bills going to turn into the Patriots? Like, what's their expectations now with Buffalo without Stefan Diggs? I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys I think the Bills are done and they're going to be in the dumpster. I'm not ready to put them... No, I still think that the Bills are a playoff team. I still think the Bills have every reason to not only win the division, but compete for a wild card. They're a very good organization. They are four-time division champions in a row. So I don't think this move is putting them into the dumpster fire. I'll be honest with you guys, for sure. Um, so I think the Patriots will be the last in the division, and I think it's going to be a three-team a three -team race. I really do. I think it's going to be a three-team race for Jets, Dolphins, Bills, um, for sure. And that second question, it I forgot it. Wait, what was the second question? It was... Um, 
Damn it, I forgot the second question. Does anybody remember what the second question was? Oh, it's so bad on my part. It was uh, something along the lines of... Devin, call back in and remind me what that question was. Or say in the chat real quick, Devin. What was that second-ended question? I think it was... Come on, someone in the chat, help me out. Ah, oh, what if Rodgers gets hurt again? Thank you, Devin. Thank you, Devin. So, we have Tyrod Taylor, Devin, right? So, last year, we had Zach Wilson as the backup. So, you, you said, are we going to be in the same situation? Zach Wilson, Tim Boyle. So, if Rodgers gets hurt again, we got Tyrod Taylor, who is one of the better backup quarterbacks in the entire NFL. So, like, that's what the Jets have prepared themselves, right? Now, if he gets down for the whole season again, we got a different conversation. But if Rodgers goes down for a game or two, I like the Jets' confidence and ability in Tyrod Taylor, okay? And not only that, but the Jets' offense got better around the quarterback position. And we got Tyrod. So we're not going to have Tim Boyle, who doesn't belong in the NFL, never should have been on this Jets team in the first place. We're not going to have Zach Wilson, who is obviously not an NFL starting quarterback, and not going to have Trevor Simeon. We have two, one Hall of Famer, in Aaron Rodgers, and another solid quarterback in Tyrod Taylor. No Tim Boyle, no Zach Wilson. And we can say the same thing about any other team. What if Josh Allen gets hurt? What if Tua gets hurt? I mean, what if Joe Burrow got hurt? You saw what happened with the Bengals. What happens if Lamar Jackson? I mean, the same question you can say about all these other star quarterbacks around the NFL. What if their star quarterback gets hurt? Unfortunately for the Jets, it happened in four freaking plays for us. So I think the Jets have positioned themselves, and I think that Tyrod Taylor is definitely good enough to help this team out. But the reality is you got to stay healthy at the quarterback spot if you want to win it all. Unless you're the Eagles somehow and are able to win the Super Bowl with Nick Foles. That, that's, that's crazy. That doesn't happen. Lazy Turtle with the $5 Super Chat. Thank you, Lazy. The Bills are a 500 team on paper. O-line got worse, defense worse, no receivers. We are by far the best roster in the division. Happy birthday, Richie. Thank you so much, my friend. Let's not forget that those Bills were 6-6. Six and six in their first 12 games last year before they ended off the season on a win streak to make the NFL playoffs. So uh, interesting stuff there. Lazy Turtle, appreciate appreciate the super chat, my friend. Big time, big time shout out to you, Lazy Turtle. All right, let's get into some callers. We got Darren tuning in. What's up, Darren? How you doing, bro? You're live. All right, buddy. How are you? I'm doing pretty well, not going to lie. All right, happy birthday first off. Thank you, my friend. And second, are that. we the favorites now? To win this division? You nope. feel that way? Um, I mean, according to the, the sports book, we're not. We're still the third favorites. Yeah, but that's, so technically that we're not. Take, that takes a little while to catch up, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see the refresh of the odds because right <laughs> now we're not. You refresh them every favorites. five minutes, Richie. Just keep refreshing. Uh, I tried to get on and uh, I'm not using your sports book, but my sports book and uh, they're not it, even, did it update on yours? It, it, no, it's not even uh, giving me the option. So it's kind of bullshit. I hate my sports book, first off. I need to go to <laughs> Bet USR. But, uh, or Bet US, sorry. Um, All good. My other question here I know this isn't a fantasy uh, thing that you're doing here. I got Stefan Diggs in my keeper league. Is this a bonus for me, or is this going to trash me? I think this is good for Stefan Diggs. I mean, listen, Diggs has been a beast fantasy wise for years. So it's going to, he's going to have to like replicate what he's been doing. I mean, he kind of, last year at the end of the year, he kind of took a downhill. But I think CJ Stroud is about to force feed that man personally. Yeah, I think Stroud's good. But, you know, Josh was always just tossing the ball up. And when he wasn't dropping it, he was making big plays all the time. All right. Yeah, I mean, you, happy you, birthday again, man. Thank you, Darren. I'm out. Thank you, Darren. Appreciate that, my friend. And I, I think Stefan Diggs is still going to be a beast in Houston. I don't think he's going to take a step back. Like, if you got Diggs in Fantasy Dynasty, I don't think you're thinking to yourself, uh-oh, that's a negative. Personally, I think it's the same. Appreciate the call, Darren. Appreciate the call. We got my man, King Lowski. Yes, sir. What's good, brother? Richie, my brother. Richie, my brother. Oh, you ready for tonight? You ready for tonight or what? You ready for tonight Richie, or what? Richie, <laughs> you know I'm prepared for tonight. Oh, I see a lot God. of sad chill fans in here. A whole lot of sad chill fans, baby. Hey, Richie, wrap the division up. Wrap it up. Thank you for conceding. Thank you for 
conceding, Buffalo. We appreciate that. Because that's all y'all did this year, baby. Y'all conceded the division. Thank you very much. Man, I'm not worried about nobody in this damn division. Now, let me give you a little pushback, Richie. Mm -hmm. I don't see Josh Allen as a top five quarterback, and I'll tell you why. Okay. The man doesn't come up clutch when it needs to be clutch, okay? The man is very overrated. We make him look like mid every season. Every season. Oh, yeah, we know. The we man know. looks like mid. Now, I, 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 okay, y'all ask me, well, who, who you put over Josh Allen? Uh, a plethora of quarterbacks, Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, Jam- uh, uh, Lamar Jackson, Joe Burrow. I can keep going, but I'm going to stop. Hey, it's the, the man lost a weapon, okay? Y'all lost key pieces on defense. Buffalo is over with, baby. It's a wrap. Dan Mitchell ain't went live. I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm still looking for him. Where the hell is Dan Mitchell? He's been, you didn't see his live? Andy, Andy, I know you're watching Andy. Call up Andy. I want to hear you. Huh? I want to hear you talk about McDermott trash ass. Because I'm telling you, it's a wrap for you, baby. It's a wrap. I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it for the night, Richie. I'm going to save it for the night. Hey, Richie, it's going to be epic tonight. It's going to be very legendary. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, happy birthday to you again, Richie. Salute. Happy Salute. birthday to you, Jack, again. All right? My two brothers from another mother, bro. I love y'all, man. T-T-S, this is shit. T-T-S, this is shit. Ah! Bro, like, I can't even put into words how King Losey makes me feel, bro. I'm like, I, I, I. I'm ready to run through a wall for that guy. Shout out to King Lowski, bro. His energy is just like infectious. You guys feel it too? You guys feel it too or is it just me? I'm ready to freaking go. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to line up. <laughs> I'm ready to pad up. Hey, King Lowski, big time shout out to you. Thank you for the love for not only me, but Jack as well. And I'll tell you guys this right now. If you do not watch the AFC East Roundtable, you got to tune in tonight because King Lowski is a Patreon and our Patreon gets to call in on the AFC's roundtable every Wednesday night. The show's uh, at 7.30 p.m. It usually runs for two hours or so. And at, towards the end of the night, around 9, around like 8.30, 9-ish range is when we open it up for call-ins. And King Lowski's there every week. And bro, you don't want to miss it, bro. I'm telling you right now, it is must-watch TV of what King Lowski has to say. And it's beautiful because I get to sit back with my feet up and then he just goes directly at every single host. Oh, it's it's so amazing. And you know what tonight's going to be, bro. You know what tonight's going to be. But don't forget the huddle is before that at 3 p.m. And then we got the AFC's roundtable at 7.30. Let's freaking go. The underrated darkness. This is the number one grinder. Happy birthday, Jets Nation. Let's go. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate you guys. All right. We got the final caller of the show, Outlaw. What's good, bro? Outlaw, you there, bro? Salute. Salute. Yeah, baby. Yes, I'm here. I'm here. Man, listen. Listen, man. Happy. First of all, happy belated birthday. I didn't even know you was an Aries, so Team Aries, you know. Team Aries, bro. Hey, listen. You already know. Listen, man. Dion D- uh, Dixon, man. You haven't been talking since we got Hassan Reddick, man. What, what's going on? Talking about the offensive line for the um the Buffalo Bills. He's been talking all offseason. He worried Dawkins. about the Jets. Yes, sir. Been worrying about the Jets so much. You haven't been worrying about your team, man. You got to retain your, your number one wide receiver. Now y'all can't hide from with him no more. Now you got to worry about, you know, you got to worry about this defense. I'm telling you, man, listen, I don't know, man. Listen, Josh Allen, he's going to have a problem, man, because now he doesn't have his number one wide receiver, and he used to force feed him all the time. It was a guaranteed touchdown to have Stephon Diggs. Now they're scrambling right now, so they got to worry about this this force of the Jets' defense um, coming to them and everything like that. Man, I can't wait for this season. It's going to be very interesting. And what's your predictions of Josh Allen? And I'm out of here. Thank you, Outlaw. Appreciate you big time, as always, my friend. And my prediction, 
I don't really know. You know, it's hard for me to really predict, but I'll, I'll say this, and I said it before. This is where we can really see who Josh Allen is, right? Like, you heard from King Lowski. He doesn't have Josh Allen as top five as a quarterback, which I completely can see why. And this is where Josh Allen needs to, I mean, I hope he doesn't, right? But I'm just saying from the NFL lens, if you're Josh Allen, this should be fuel to prove your worth that you are a top five quarterback. I Again, I'm just speaking from a Bills perspective because when you lose a guy like Stephon Diggs, this is Josh Allen's opportunity. Because right now you look at Josh Allen's career, he stunk his first two seasons. Josh Allen gets Stephon Diggs in year three, and then he becomes a good quarterback. So now you look at it like, yeah, I mean, Stephon Diggs had a lot of reason why Josh Allen was successful. So now it's up to Josh Allen to prove if he's still good without Stephon Diggs, which I think is going to be very interesting. Muffiles with the $5 Super Chat. Richie, you need to have King Lowski as a hype man. Happy birthday again. Thank you, Buffalo, for handing us the division. I ain't worried about Tua, Allen, or New England. Let's effing go. That is true. I need to, I need to hire King Lowski as my personal hype man, bro. I just, like, I just have him at all times. And just every time I come across a division rival, King Losey, you got you got him, right? <laughs> oh, man. Thank you, Mount Wales, for the $5 Super Chat, my guy. I really do appreciate you, and I appreciate the, the uh, birthday wishes. Folks, don't forget the huddle. will be live at 3 p.m. EST. Stefan Diggs traded to the Buffalo Bills. They already have it up on the screen right now. I'm going to... Link it. If you guys don't watch the huddle, man, you definitely want to watch it for the first time. Today's show is going to be nuts. Okay? It's going to be absolutely nuts. 3 p.m. EST. I put the link at the top of the chat, guys. Click the link at the top of the chat. Say Richie sent you in the chat. And turn on the notification bell. Subscribe to this channel. I'm live here every Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. EST. And this show is going to be nuts. Diggs traded to Texans. Woo, we're going to hear from TD Finstock and myself. Is the Jets roundtable today? No, so the Jets roundtable, JT, that's Thursdays. So Jets roundtable is Thursdays at 1 p.m. All right, and then tonight is the AFC East roundtable. And of course, we have the huddle. All right, guys, click in the link at the top of the chat. We'll bring you right to this show. And we'll start this show at 3 p.m. So I will see you guys then. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Jets Media. Stefan Diggs is gone. Stefan Diggs is gone out of the division. We shall see. All right, folks, I'm out of here. Thank you guys again for tuning in to a Jets Media show. I'll see you guys at 3 p.m. on the huddle. Peace out. Appreciate all the love. Appreciate all the support. We had 36 Super Chats today. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for the belated birthday wishes. Appreciate all you guys big time in the chat. You guys are awesome. Too kind. Too kind, everybody. You're making me not want to end the show. You're making me not want to end the show, but I got it. I got it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you at 3 p.m. on the huddle. Peace!